Hello everyone. Welcome back to Data Wave interview question series. As part of this video, we are going to discuss about the below three interview questions. First, try to understand the problem. Then we are going to solve after this one. Okay. Let's try to understand. So what is the question here? The first question is, we need to swap key and values. See, what is the message here? It's like the input message, hello world. But what they're expecting? They're expecting, it's like swapping. Hello world is first, then message. Okay, next. What is the next question? Write your own function to identify given number is odd or even. So earlier we have seen our own logic to identify, but here they are expecting write your own function. Okay, we need to write, we need to write a function, okay, to identify whether given number is odd or even. Okay, that is one question. Next, continuation of this one. Print numbers 1 to 100 and add even or even or odd for every number like this. You have to print 1, 2. Okay, 1 is for odd, 2 is for even, 3 is for odd, 4 is for even, up to 100 we need to print. Okay, these are the three questions we are going to solve today as part of this video. Okay, in order to solve this one, just open data wave playground. Data wave playground. Now see here, as soon as As soon as if you open right, okay, message hello world. Okay, if you remove this one, what is happening? Message and hello world. But what they are expecting? Okay, the expectation is hello world and message. Now it's very simple. So it's a map object, type map object here. Now, open flower braces. So this is key and this is value, right? So first you need to print value, colon, key. See value it is printing, it's in a characters. So what you need to do? Keep it in a brackets. So it's very simple. Now the first problem is solved. So this is what they're expecting, right? See, message, hello world. Now we have written hello world and message. It's like key and value interchanging. Okay. What is the next question? Write your own function to identify given number is odd or even so this is what we need to write okay i don't want to disturb this one okay so it changed so here we are interchanging the key and values by using value and key now what is the second question write your own function to identify given number is order even open data view playground now I remove everything here so we need to write a function right so in order to write a function just use one is the keyword i'm going to write is order is order even so this is my function okay now 
here we need to pass a number here we need to pass a number so number is in which format number format okay number format now i'm going to make it as string here okay the output will be in a string now here you need to write if condition you know already how to identify the the given number is odd or not so what we need to do so number mod of 2 equal to equal to 0 0 that's for even else odd number correct so this logic you know already but so here we are learning the new thing is function how to create a function by using one okay one is the keyword is odd or even if you want you can keep it your name also but as per naming conventions we are going to keep it as is odd or even number and either it is in number format or string format okay number now what is the response the response will be in a string now see here how to call the function is odd or even is odd or even okay i'm going to pass five see five is odd number okay let me was six six is even number 22 okay so this is how we can pass the numbers now one question is solved write your one function to identify the given number is order now what is the next question print numbers 1 to 100 and add even or odd for every number okay so it's very simple anyway we have already written a function okay i'm going to comment out this one so try to write a logic how to print 1 to 100 okay that's very simple 1 to 100 now see if i go with number okay so what it is printing see one two three four up to hundred it is printing but what they are expecting so it's like an array or list so inside this it's a every object okay one is one object two is one object three is one object but they're expecting odd or even now so after printing this it's very simple number so it's a map right okay map of okay see here automatically if you give this flower presses automatically it is creating 100 objects because we do have numbers from 1 to 100 right okay that is the reason it is printing 100 100 objects it is creating now number where the number is storing it is storing in a dollar correct so if you print dollar you will get the numbers now simply i will keep it here see if you observe left hand side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay all the 100 numbers are printing now instead of one what we need to do we have written a function we need to use that function is order even okay is order even so here you need to pass dollar see now how beautiful it is how quickly we have written this is very very important so this is a question okay they have written i mean they have asked for and 
TCS interview, one of my student, okay? So these three are very, very important interview questions. Most frequently asked interview questions, these three. Interchange, key and value, write your own function, and print, order event, okay? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching this. Happy learning.